How's it going, mates? Brando's back in action. Number seven today. It's been a week since I started doing these vlogs, and I'll tell you what, I'm happier for it. It's actually helping me with my accountability, you know. I'm not so all over the place to be derailed this easily, but it's helping. So, what have I got for you today? A little bit of awesome news that will lead into my major weigh-in. I've seen new numbers on the scales today. Numbers that I haven't seen for quite some time. Um, yeah, it's amazing to be able to step on and go, oh, that's new. And have that little bit of a spark in my step for the rest of the day. So, let's do the meal, what I've eaten today. Um, daily diet, whatever you want to call it. I think that's going to be a good term to call it, the, the daily diet. The munch list. I don't know. Let's brainstorm some of them in the comments. Um, okay, so. Shake pudding for breakfast. That's always nice and delicious. You know how I do it. For morning tea. Cherry ripe. Customer brought in some Christmas presents for us. And you know what? I've been going well so far. A single cherry ripe won't hurt. <laughs> and I'll uh, I'll tell a little bit more of a story around that once I get through the rest of the meals. For lunch, mango shake. For afternoon tea, chockberry man bar. Dinner, stir fried veg and chop and can of monster. The um, uh, ultra paradise one, the green sugar free can. Oh. Just near that little bit of extra caffeine. Um, I'm probably going to take a break for them for a little bit. Just so then I can rebalance. So, going back to the cherry ripe. Looking over the ingredients. And, oh, There's about one and a half times the uh, calories in a cherry ripe compared to a man bar. <laughs> so, yeah. The man bar is miles, miles above. And it tastes better. So, no. Nah. <laughs> I cannot go back to chocolate bars after the man bars. Sure, they're a little bit more expensive, but when you compare, like, oh, what is it? Uh, petrol station servo prices to the man bars? No. Nah. It's got to beat. And really, that's when I would buy a chocolate bar. When I couldn't get to the supermarket and I just felt like something sweet. That's when you'd go for a chocolate bar, but if I've got them on hand... And they don't take long to get here. Like, express shipping. Once it actually gets on the road, not so bad. So, today's big discussion. Something that um, Dad Boo Boo mentioned on my last video. Um, so, we've got here... Sometimes cheating isn't bad. Allowed myself one day in the week for one meal to cheat. Yep, I do that. I am doing that. This week I'll have two cheat days, treat days, whatever you want to call them. They will be Christmas Day and Boxing Day. Christmas Day lunch will be with family as a type of barbecue thing. Um, Boxing Day lunch will be out at a restaurant, so that'll be nice. Um, so, also, why don't you meal prep? I meal prep for two or three days. So, here's why I don't meal prep. I have a major issue with self-control. If there's food in my fridge, I feel a compulsion to eat it. And that's probably the boredom speaking. That's probably... Me just not feeling satisfied with the food that I'm eating. So if the food that I'm eating isn't satisfying me, obviously what's in the fridge should. Until the point of overeating. This is what I'm trying to stop. With the man shakes. I'm trying to get over the compulsion to eat whatever's there. 
and just make things a whole lot better for myself. So that's something that I'm working on. Maybe once I'm a bit further down the track, I've got my head around it a bit more. Maybe once I hit the three month mark, I'll start doing meal prep. You know, cook a couple meals at a time, stick them in the freezer. That way when I get home from work, I can just go, oh, hey, this uh, high protein bake or whatever. Yeah, that'll go well in the microwave. But I also enjoy cooking, so... <laughs> yeah, if I can do all my cooking in one shot, so be it. Um, I suppose that's one thing that I do kind of need to touch on, is... I realise that I have some issues when it comes to self-control, hence why I'm the size I am at the moment. But that's one of the goals that I plan on setting for 2022. That's something that I want to do on the first day of the new year in my vlog is let's make a list. Let's make a goal list and some emotions tied beside it. I'll think about that over the coming days while I'm on break from work and such likes, not from the diet. I am sticking with this. Oh, it's feeling so much better to be exercising again, to be knowing that I'm putting good nutrition into my body again. It's just working wonders. Also thinking of uh, trimming the beard a bit. My double chin's getting a little bit less, so I think I might just, you know, take it down to where the double chin doesn't poke out anymore and just start trimming it back. We'll see. So, exercise. My exercise today. Let's have a look at how that's been. Oh boy, not as big as yesterday. Yesterday was an utterly massive day with 15,000 steps. But today, 14,218 steps. Now, I'm going to be doing a whole lot more of this tonight because I've got to do some packing for the big trip. So that'll be back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until everything's sorted. Um... 1,103 kilocalories burnt from exercise and a total of 10.69 kilometers walked. Nice. Um, as for total energy burnt today, you're looking at a big fat daddy 3,327 kcal at the moment. That's, uh, that's interesting. Mainly because I want to see what stacks up to that on Hungry Jack's menu. Bear with me for a moment while I look this up. So, um, go on a HJ's website and menu. They say they have better food. I'm going to look into that in a moment. So, HJ's, Hungry Jack's, Australian Burger King, for those who aren't sure. Let's go to their Whoppers. I like me a triple Whopper from time to time. So, let's go for a... Hmm, what have they got right now? Triple Angry Whopper. Oh. Now, will you tell me the full meal, or just... Let's go pick up on app. Okay, I might have to look at it on the phone. Give me a moment, because I if I click order now... Okay, no, this works. Um, let's go for a ultimate double whopper. No, got to do it off phone. Give me a moment. That was a waste of time. HJ's. So yeah, while I'm doing this, um, I suppose another question I have is, if I were to start some video games, what would you want to see me play? I'm interested in starting a playthrough of Pokemon Shining Pearl. I kind of do like Gen 4, and this has been kind of fun, so from what I've played of it. It's been a fun game. 
Um, I'm also interested in getting back into Binding of Isaac. Sorry, let me enunciate that a little bit properly. Binding of Isaac. Um, I need to do a bit more on that. It's just that it's been a little mad. So let's go pick up. Let's find the... I want the ultimate double. I want the ultimate triple. No, let's... Okay. Triple Angry Whopper. By the way, I'm not affiliated with either Manshake or Hungry Jack, so I need you to be aware of this. Okay, so... 8,000. Okay, so let's go for the large meal. 9,000 kilojoules is about... Oh, 2,000... 2,500? So, let's swap out the chips. Oh, okay. The onion rings are less energy dense than the chips. Fun. What do we got in here? A large Coke? Nah, 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 fam. We want to go unhealthy with this and go for a large caramel shake. Oh, that's looking like, that's getting pretty close to 10,000 kilojoules, which is about, that's still not enough. Let's customize that Angry Whopper, mate. Let's put more mayo on it. More lettuce, more tomato, more jalapeno, more ketchup. They won't let me add more beef patties. <laughs> oh. That's what's included. Okay. Let's make this up to pretty much where we want to be. So, I have burnt through a $27.50 Hungry Jack's meal in a day. Combined exercise and what I'm just burning from existing. That's big. I'm so happy about that. <sighs> Tell you what, what's going through my mind right now is just some pretty sweet vibes and just knowing that this much work every day is going to eventually get me to where I want to be. Sure, when I plateau, I'm going to need to work a little bit harder. That's understood. Don't know. Let's just move the mic for a moment so then you can actually see. I did just get back from my afternoon walk shortly before starting this video. So, yeah. It's been massive. I'm starting to feel tired. Pardon me. Hiccups. I'm starting to feel tired. But that's understandable considering it's like 9.30 at night and... I've done a full day of work and I've still got more ahead of me. So, at that, I'm going to leave it here. Thanks for joining me again on another episode of the weight loss vlog daily. You know what it is. And you know what to do. If you want to drop a comment, go ahead. Don't feel obliged. I'm just happy that people are watching, people are encouraging me. I'll keep doing this as long as it takes to get down to a reasonable clothing size. Uh, and for me, that is probably large. If I get to medium, that's just another bonus. If I have clothes that are hanging off of me, that's, they're medals to me. They're achievements as opposed to a reminder of my failure. Kind of is that as well, but you know. I'm not too hard on myself at the moment. Just taking it as it comes. Anyway, Brando, signing off. <laughs>